Does it matter if a brute force search for a password returns a collision and not the password? Assume the following very basic hashing algorithm. H, K, equals K mod 17. Let's say we create a password 12345 for a website that uses this very basic hashing algorithm. That would yield the hash of 3. Say a brute force attacker comes by and starts guessing numbers starting at 1 they would only have to get to 3 before they got a hash collision and obviously 3 is not the original password. Is the problem that the password hashing space 0 to 16 is much smaller than the space of the allowed password, or is there something else I'm overlooking? Stefan's answer covers this perfectly, but I just wanted to add a few more details. Hash hash hashtag anything that gives a match is usually fine hash hash hash. As he says, you generally don't care about finding the actual password, because a web application will usually be happy to authenticate you with any string that happens to hash to the hash value stored in the database. This means that if you perform a brute force search and find something with the same hash, you can log into the account even if it isn't actually the same password. This, as implied in the question, is the nature of hashing and is a direct result of the pigeonhole principle. Hash hash hashtag until you need the actual password hash hash hash. However, there may be some cases where you do want to find the original password. This would be the case if for instance a hacker stole a username password from a valueless service and wanted to try to log in as the user on a more valuable service Facebook, banks, etc. Since people often use the same password everywhere, then in this case you really do want the original password, not just something that hashes to the same value for a given hashing algorithm. After all, different services may use different hashing methods. Hash hash hashtag but the difference doesn't matter hash hash hash. Fortunately, for our attacker, this doesn't really matter. The reason is because an exhaustive brute force is effectively impossible. Instead a hacker will try things that are likely to be passwords, word lists, common passwords, etc. As a counter example imagine that despite the impossibility of it you have a hash from a web service and manage to perform a brute force search on all possible 256-bit ASCII strings. You find three inputs that hash to the same value as the user's password hash BD3EDF42F6D3AF2DAAE93313EB534AF7B8B8F844438727C48EC372DBD1 Password. Which would you guess is the actual password? The answer is clearly number 3. I mean, there is technically a chance that the user just happened to pick an extremely strong password i.e. BD3EDF42F6D3AF2DAAE93313EB 534 that just happened to hash to the same value as password, but the odds of that are effectively zero. In this sense the attacker has a nice advantage. They would prefer to find the actual password, and it turns out that because people are bad at picking random passwords, the best way to do that isn't by checking everything anyway, it's by checking things that look like passwords. This makes brute forcing searching much, 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 much more effective, and also gives the attacker a much more useful result, the actual password, rather than some random string that happens to have the same hash.